Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to guitar lesson number four. Sorry about the shaking, just trying to get the, uh, the camera in the right space. So I'm really excited to say that I've now got a YouTube channel set up for the um, guitar lesson. So if you're not wanting to watch the Facebook replay, because sometimes if you've got YouTube premium, it's got a lot more freedom. So you can, um, I don't know, open up other windows while the lesson's still streaming in the background so that you can maybe look at the workbook and then go back and forward to the actual video. Um, so YouTube's got some different benefits than Facebook. They're both awesome. Um, I just want to thank you for the feedback that I've received so far. I've got some people saying that they're going to do the lessons with their children, which is awesome. It was one of my aims. And also I'll be emailing the schools um, to let them know that these guitar lessons are available for children if they want to learn online autonomously or even with their parents or with their siblings. How cool would that be? What a cool thing. Okay, so this is lesson four. You've gone through lesson one, which was the foundations. Lesson two was learning a few chords. Lesson three was uh, strumming. And then lesson four, picking, sorry. And then lesson four, we're talking about the um, strumming patterns and also picking the guitar. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more. I have screenshotted the worksheets and if I look um, to my left on a, on a different area, it's because I'm looking at my laptop to make sure that I cover the workbook contents Properly. So if that's me just looking down, that's just me looking at the laptop. Okay, so I'm looking at worksheet four. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at chord progressions today. A chord progression is a group of chords that sound really good together. You may have noticed on one of the um, previous videos I played D as a little bit of a warm-up. That sounds nice, doesn't it? And then A. Those two sound really nice together. And then I went to G. Have a listen to this. That's a chord progression. A group of chords that sound really nice together. Now believe it or not, not all chords played together sound nice together. So a chord progression is a chord, it kind of is a group of chords that sound nice together and most of the more popular songs or every popular song is usually just a group of chords um, that are very common chord progressions that's just been creatively mixed so one of the more common chord progressions is D, A and G or G um, there's C, A minor, F and G different chord progressions uh, so today we're going to be looking at those um, over the last three lessons I've talked to you about easy G and I am wondering if you'd like to learn the real G, the actual G major. Okay, so hopefully you've got your tuned guitar ready. We're going to learn G. We're going to put this first finger one, two, three. We're going to put finger one on the second fret. Easter bunny goes driving at Easter. We're going to be put up on the A string, sorry. Easter bunny goes driving at and then this one goes on to the third fret and this one goes where the easy G is. So this is G. Don't forget to use the tips of your fingers. So let's take our fingers off and do it again. Second fret, first finger Easter bunny goes driving at and then your middle finger goes at the top of the third fret and then down the bottom. This is the real G. So a lot of my students, they just play easy G for a while, which is fine, as long as you're play, playing just the bottom strings, that's fine. But if you wanted to learn real G, sorry, I don't mean to move my guitar around too much, it is, it goes up to the A string, that goes up to the capital E string, and that goes on the little E. So the two fingers that are on the third fret, they're both on the E strings. And this one, on the A string. Take a screenshot if you like. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. So that's G. Just in case you're wondering what the actual real G is, that's the G. Okay, so we talked about a chord progression. A three chord song is a song whose music is played and built around just three chords. And it, you can make millions of dollars on a three chord song. How cool is that? And this type of song is really common. There's a lot of song play, songs played in the following way. D. G. A. E minor. 
minor. Come on through to a mid chord, back to A. D. Kind of comes full circle, A. So D, A and G are really common chords to play in, in, um, in this record song. Another common chord is one that we're going to learn today called A minor. Um, a minor is, it's very much like E minor, but what you need to do is bring these two fingers down and put this first finger up on the B string. So it's got the same shape as an E minor, but you go down one and put your first finger on an E, on the little B. So this is called A minor, and that's the chord that you're learning today. A minor, okay, let's do that together. First finger, finger one, two, three. First finger is on the fret number one on the B string. I'll give you a minute to put your finger there. And then your second comes in under the Easter Bunny goes driving on the D string and your middle finger goes under the G string, Easter Bunny goes. Take a screenshot of that if you like. That's called A minor, capital A, little M, A minor. So I'm gonna take my fingers off and I'm going to put them back on. First finger goes onto the B string. Second goes onto the Easter Bunny goes driving on the D string, close to that fret line. And this one comes in underneath it. They should all be, this one should be close to the fret line if possible, and this one should be close to that fret line too. If you're on the fret lines, if you're too far, if it's like that, it kind of doesn't sound the same. So it's important that they be squished together. Squish them together. A minor is a really lovely chord. And it goes really nicely with E minor. A minor, E minor. A minor, E minor. They go really nicely together. A minor, E minor. So, another three chord um, song is, let's try it. E minor, A minor, and go easy G. A minor, E minor. That's a very dramatic song, isn't it? E minor, very dramatic. A minor. Chords. It's really neat to know the chords, but when you learn how to kind of play them together, it's very cool as well. Okay, so some chords that we've learnt so far that sound nice together is A, D, and E minor. You can write these down if you like, or they are on page, let's see, page 25 of the workbook. A, D, and E minor. Did you know that if you put your first thing on, finger on one, two, on the G string, you're making an E chord, E minor, E, E minor, E, but we'll learn that later. Okay, let's do that again. A, D, E minor. So dramatic. that sound really nice together is D, G, A. D, G, and A. So that could be a song. You could kind of challenge yourself and create a really nice song out of that. Um, on, on the uh, page 25, there's other chords there that do go nicely together, but we haven't learnt them all yet. So the pattern is 1, 4, 5. So if you write down on a piece of paper, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the first, the fourth and the fifth chords are going to sound really nice. So what I've um, done is I wrote down on a sheet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
And then underneath it, I started at G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then it was F, G, A, B, C, D. So I'm kind of starting with a different chord each time. And then I'm writing out one, four, five, and those are the three chords out of that chord progression, out of that group of chords that is gonna sound really good. All right, so we're going to learn a really nice, simple song called Michael Finnegan. You might have heard it. I played it a lot um, in school growing up. And this involves a chord called A7. All right, so we're gonna learn A7. A7 is very much an A. So you've got A there. So you could take your finger off and just move that down there. So first finger goes on to the second fret. One, two, three, and it goes Easter Bunny goes driving. And the second finger, Easter Bunny goes on the B string. This is A7. Do you want to take a photo? There you go. It's really easy, isn't it? One, two, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. A7. It's a capital A and a little 7 that sits above, just above the, the A. Alright, so we're going to play D. There was an old man called Michael Finnegan. Again, A7. He grew whiskers on his chin again. Back to D. The wind came out and blew them in again. A7. Poor old Michael Finnegan. So you can do what we did earlier, you can either play the D and the A7 and just strum it when I'm strumming either of those chords, or you can play both of them. So I'm giving you time to do the chord transition. There's only two chords in the song, which is D and A7. Alright, D. There was no man called Michael Finnegan. Back to A7. He grew whiskers on his chin again. Back to D. The wind came out and he blew them in again. And then A7. Poor old Michael Finnegan, begin again. Alright, I'm going to sing the chords. Ready? D and D and D and D. Then A7. A7, 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 A7. A7. D and D and D. Lots more D. And then A7. Da -da 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 -da. And then D. Finnegan, begin again. Hopefully this is giving you lots of practice with D and the A chords. So you've got normal A, which is there, and then A7 as you take that finger off, move this one down. And for your homework, practice between A, A7. Go down a set of strings, bring that through to a D. That's a really neat one for you to practice. Okay, so your workbook uh, finishes for this lesson at page 26. And I highly recommend that you do your homework and go and do the um all of the chords you've learned so far on the back of my workbook is all the chords that we're going to learn um for you know all the basic chords from a's so we're going to learn a a minor a seven we're going to learn um b's come in a more advanced one believe it or not but we will learn b7 um c c7 d d minor d7 e e minor e7 f and then we'll learn g easy g and there is no H because it stops at G. Did you know the musical alphabet stops at G? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There is no H. And that's as far as we're going to go. So if we do do volume two, I guess, you'd be looking at bar chords. Although we do have a quick look at bar chords towards the end of the workbook. Hopefully you've had a chance to download the workbook. It's on my Facebook page, Guitar for Beginners. And you just click into the Google Drive and then you can print it out. I recommend you print it out and um, put it in a, or get it plastic bound, or put it in a folder. It will cost under $5, unless you do it colour, where it will cost $30. If you've got any question, please um, just post it on my Guitar for Beginners. And don't forget that you can um, post your progress videos on the Facebook page too. I think that would be awesome. Okay, let's just finish with a D, A7, and D. A7. D. So that's your homework, just to practice going from D, A7, and even if you want to go the A, A7, D, A, A7, and D. Thanks for joining me, hopefully you've um, 
kept up and if not just replay it rewind it replay it and then play it over and over again thank you see ya